Hi there, James Preston with you for Calkine, and in this video we're going to take a look at the concept of convertible bonds. But first, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to stay across the latest videos from Calkine. So what are convertible bonds? The bonds which the corporation issues are mainly known as convertible bonds. As the name suggests, convertible bonds can be converted into shares of the same company's stock if the bondholders choose to do so. So convertible bonds possess both equity and debt qualities and they usually offer more revenue than common stock, but not more than corporate bonds. Just like corporate bonds, convertible bonds do also come along with a specific maturity date. If an investor decides to convert the bonds into equity, the bond will lose its debt properties and possess only equity properties. However, if an investor is not willing to convert the bond, then in that case, they will receive only the face value of the bonds upon its maturity. Let's now assess why companies issue convertible bonds. It's been observed that companies that lack credit rating and have a high growth potential are the ones to issue convertible bonds. These bonds are said to be more flexible than any other regular bonds. There are mainly two reasons why companies issue convertible bonds. Convertible bonds help to lower the coupon rate on debts. Investors prefer lower coupon rates on convertible debts than any regular or corporate bond coupon rate. The convertible feature of the bonds allows them to lower down the coupon rate on the debts. It's beneficial for the issuer as it helps him to save on interest expenses. Convertible bonds help in delaying dilution. Convertible bonds are also helpful when raising capital through bonds rather than equity as it helps the issuer to delay the dilution to its equity holders. At times, some companies might experience situations in which it readily offers debt securities in medium terms as the interest expenses are tax deductible. However, dilution can be manageable as the net income and share prices grow throughout the bond. There's also a number of different variants of convertible bonds. For starters, there's vanilla convertible bonds. A vanilla convertible bond is the most popular form of convertible bond currently available in the market. Vanilla bonds allow investors to convert their bonds into a certain number of shares at a predetermined conversion price and the rate at the time of maturity. For example, the vanilla bonds might pay coupons payments during the bond's duration and come with a fixed date of maturity wherein the investor is paid the bond's nominal value. There's also mandatory convertibles. Mandatory convertibles refer to the compulsory bonds for investors to convert into shares of a specific company where they invest. As an added advantage, mandatory convertibles come with two different convertible prices. The first price will be the price that will delimit the price at which the investor will receive the par value in shares. The second price is supposed to limit an investor to receive above the par value. Reverse convertibles. The reverse convertibles commonly refer to the bonds that can be either purchased in the bond in cash or converted into equities at a predetermined price and rate at the time of maturity. So what are the pros and cons of convertible bonds? Well, as with anything in life, there are advantages and drawbacks. So let's start with the pros of convertible bonds. They offer a fixed rate of interest, tax benefits, they allow for a delay in stock dilution, and they have a lower interest than regular bonds. As for the cons, they include a low coupon rate, they can be risky for investors, and share dilution cannot be prevented in certain situations. So hopefully that gives you an insight into the concept of convertible bonds. And if you'd like any further information on convertible bonds, then just head across to the website, kalkaimedia.com. And if you found the information contained in this video helpful, then make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And of course, don't forget to press that bell icon. I'm James Preston for Kalkine.